I wanted to do another video on uh, lesson 11 and I wanted to use a video or a problem that we did in class I think really shows students and parents how we um, use ratio tables to compare ratios and to solve problems. Um, three people made juice. Okay, we had a Laredo, a Franca, and a Milton. And they gave us three tables to compare. However, um, we don't have matching numbers here. So for example, I could compare Franca's juice to Milton's juice because they both have a common sex. I could compare, um, and I think just by looking at it, that's the only one that I really, that stands out to me for a comparison. So in order for all three of the ratios to be compared, we use what's called scaling down of the ratio, which really is just a fancy word for simplifying the ratio to its simplest form. Okay, 12 to 2 water to juice concentrate. 12 and 2 can both be divisible by 2. That gives me a 6 to 1 ratio here. 15 and 6 are both divisible by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So in simplest, that gives me a 5 to 2 ratio here. And 16 to 6 are both divisible by 2, which gives me 8 to 3. <sighs> Scaling down in this case didn't help me because it didn't give me a common piece in my ratio. Okay, So now that I have them bare bones in their simplest, I'm going to scale each one of them up. And I'm going to start with, I like th this number on of the ratio. These are very big numbers. Um, I like the smaller ones. I think they'll meet quicker when we scale each ratio up. So I'm going to start with 6 to 1. When I scale it up, I can double the ratio, 12 to 2. Go back to the original. I'm going to triple the ratio, 18 to 3. We can make a ratio table, skip count by 6's. So this is 24 to 4. This is going to be 30 to 5. And this is going to be 36 to 6. I'm going to stop here and do the other two tables to see if we can find some common ones. I'm going to do 10 to 4. Skip count by 5s on this side. 15 to 2, 4, 6. Hmm. I have a 6 here. I have a 6 here. Okay, so far we're doing great. Now I'm going to um, skip count by 8s on this side. Skip count by 3s on this side. Ooh, I have a winner. Okay. Now all of these have a common number. Now that the juice concentrate, or the second number in the ratio, they're all the same at 6, it's very easy for me to compare the juice using the water. The question asks me to put the juices in order from the strongest apple taste to the weakest apple taste. Well, I've made Kool-Aid before. And when I've made it, the water, the ones with the most water always taste the weakest. So I'm going to look for which juice has the lowest water content. And that's actually going to be Franca's. Because he only has 15 parts water to 6 parts juice concentrate. Then the next one is going to be Milton. And the third one is going to be Laredo. I hope this helps. Uh, you understand what we're doing with ratio tables and how we're using them to compare.